little bit about myself. Like she's already told you, they've been training a lot of celebrities, but I'm not only a celebrity trainer. I train even lay people. And as she's spoken about my book, From Excel to Excess, it's been read over about 85,000 people all around the world, from the age 15 to 60 plus. Everybody has read this book. And it has got to people to motivate them to do yoga. The reason being, a lot of people told me that yoga is very boring, especially the youngsters sitting here today. I don't know whether they've ever tried their hands on yoga, thinking it's very boring, very lethargic, you know, it, it puts you off to sleep. You know, this is what I got as a feedback from all the youngsters I have spoken to. But tell you truly, it is not so boring. The way we teach yoga, you know, Five fifty, you know, 5,000 years ago, when actually yoga started, yes, I would say that it was very boring and people taught it in a very different way. But we have modernized it for you people to enjoy yoga. And once you do yoga, what happens to you is it's an internal and an external change. It's not, it's not about only losing weight, you know, like... Yeah, I agree, like a Kareena Kapoor became a size zero doing yoga. But um, it's not only that. She, when she started, I'll talk a little about her because she's an ideal where yoga comes into play. Uh, she started yoga and um, the first time when I met her, she said, you know, I don't get hooked on to anything ever. So I don't think I'll do yoga. I've, I've been a gymming person all my life. So I said, great, but at least try it out. So she said, okay. She did about two classes with me. And after which she was, um, no, I don't like it. It's very boring. Exactly how each one of you would say. And um, after that, say about three weeks from then, she calls me up again and says, you know, Bayan, I have to do yoga. So I said, all right. That day, I'm talking to you September 2006. And today, we're in 13. She has never missed a class, ever. She got hooked on to yoga. She had her weight loss. Weight loss was one part of it, but it changed her as a person. It made her a more calmer person. The way, the way you can, the way you deal with life, you deal with life in a much better and positive way. That's what yoga does to you. So yoga is a part of it, but fitness, when we talk about fitness as a whole, our topic of today that I've chosen is healthy weight loss and a lot of fat. Why is this? Because, you know, weight loss, people have got to know that weight loss is something just happening to you. No, it is a lifestyle change. You have to look at it like everything that you put in your mouth from the, from the time you wake up in the morning till the end of the day. And you have to get in at least 30 minutes of some kind of exercise. I'm not talking about the exercise like some the men here might say, you know, I'm walking all day. I go to my job. I have a I have a job on, on the way, like on the walk. I'm always walking. But that's not the exercise that you're looking for. You your body, your lungs, your internal self needs to work out, which is very, very important. You need to breathe right. Now all of us are sitting here, okay, but we never concentrate on the way we breathe. That's what keeps you alive, but we never even look at it in a way that, you know, we need to sit down, calm ourselves, you know, and breathe normally. We don't even know how we breathe, you know, so it is very important. Those are things like now all of us sitting here, let's try breathing, sit down straight. Let's try breathing properly. Close your eyes, everybody just shut your eyes down. Keep your palms on your legs, close your eyes, and just relax. And hold it there, and slowly exhale out from the nose. Once again, inhale, inhale deep 
Fill your lungs with as much air as you can. Hold it there. And slowly exhale out. Now watch your breathing pattern. Just focus for the split second on the way you breathe. As you inhale, your stomach will move outward. As you exhale, stomach will move inward. That's the normal breathing pattern that all of us have. Once again, inhale deep. Fill your lungs with air. And slowly exhale out. For the last time, inhale. And slowly exhale. Again, focus on your breathing. Your breathing, if you focus properly, is slower than before. Just focus on the inhalation and exhalation. Stomach moving outside when you inhale. Stomach moving inside when you exhale. And relax. Slowly open your eyes. What did you all feel? Sleepy? Sleepy? Or felt good? Relax, right? So if you just did this for like, not even two seconds, two, three seconds. So you imagine if you do this on a regular basis, five minutes every day, it's going to make so much difference on your body. Not only your body, on your face, on your skin, on your hair, everything. Your internal system is going to improve every day. Every work that you do is going to improve. Your lungs have to be in great capacity, working capacity. Like I meet people, you know, everybody wants to lose weight. I think, who doesn't want to lose weight here, put, on, put, put up your hands. Who are thin, the fatter ones. <laughs> Nobody wants to lose weight here. Very good. And how many want to be fit? Yeah, you all have all got your things in place, I'm sure. Everybody wants to feel. How many people exercise? Wow. Everybody wants to be fit, but I have only two hands went up. And that also they went up like this. That means how many times do you all exercise? Five days a week. That's great. Five days a week is the minimum that you need to exercise. I love the amount of people which said, want to be fit. What do you mean by fitness? Fitness is like it just comes in a jiffy or you have to work hard for it. It could be anything, you know, uh, say you run, you play a sport, you're all boys, you're all young boys. You all need to run, you all need to play a sport, swim. I'm not saying do yoga because I teach yoga. That's not the thing. But any kind of physical workout. You're all young children, you all need to move it. Any, like a badminton sport, squash, tennis, you're all learning something. All these things work. You know, so fitness comes anyhow. But what you need to get in your system is five days of fitness. You have to get fitness into your lifestyle, not like a fad. Why do I call it a fad? Is because I have had people, I consult lakhs, lakhs of people, okay? And they come to me just before a wedding in their house. Like three months before a wedding, three months before they get married, three months, you know, and they tell me, you know, Paul, I need to knock it off. How many kilos? 10 kilos per set. 
अरे दस किलो कैसे जाएगा तीन महीने में तुमने कभी एक्सरसाइज नहीं किया है कुछ भी नहीं किया है हाउ इट गो इज इट पॉसिबल no but they come to me with such kinds of thing they think i have a magic wand i just move it around and it and they will knock it off no that's and they actually come and tell me mujhe rani mukherji jaisa bana do mujhe karina kapoor jaisa bana do but don't you see that rani mukherji and karina kapoor have worked they are way out through it see the hard work that goes into it see the and you know they say acha hum diet kar denge hum juice piyenge to weight loss ho jayega how many of you all say juice pee ke weight loss hota hai idhar अरे जूस पी के वेट लॉस नहीं होता है यू हैव टू ईट मेटाबॉलिज्म हैज टू बी राइजिंग यू नो पीपल हैव दिस आइडिया दैट यू डोंट ईट यू विल नॉक इट ऑफ इट्स अ रॉन्ग नोशन यू नीड टू ईट राइट एंड देन नॉक इट ऑफ वेन आई से ईट राइट आई डोंट मीट वड़ा पाव खाओ समोसा पाव खाओ एंड पिज्जा खाओ ऑल द यंग जनरेशन टू डे लव ऑल दोज जंकी फूड्स नो ईट राइट फूड ईट योर वड़ा पाव ईट योर पिज्जाज वन इन अ वाइल it's perfectly okay because you can't live otherwise it's not possible but don't come with such wrong notions because it's not going to work it doesn't work on you today everybody wants to get into those sexy outfits and you know wear these real tight dresses and i agree but you have to be at it it's important very 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 important and what i would say is you know this weight loss thing has become more of looking at all the Hol- bollywood stars and the hollywood stars that they look like that why can't you no you can also look like that but that lifestyle change has to come in one hour a day if you can give to fitness good eating habit i think you can you can look very very good so now i want you all to ask me whatever you all feel like anything i'm here to answer you all anything that you all feel you all need to know about fitness you all need to know about you know your weight loss how do you need to go about it is yoga very good is yoga not good anything you can you can throw all your questions at me i'm here to answer each one of them people say if you do yoga in a wrong way uh, like if you want to become thin like i want to become thin for example but if i do yoga in a wrong way it will give me adverse effect or maybe negative effect so instead of becoming thin i'll become more fatter is it true no it's not that you will become fatter but yoga has has a technique if you follow the technique is right because every posture that you do is the way you do it like i'll just demonstrate say a surya namaskar to you right now you will see every posture is important if you're doing it in the wrong way it's going to hamper your system in the way you will have you might have a sprain in the neck you might have a sprain in the leg you might tear a ligament okay it's not that you put on weight no it's the wrong posture will take you to a different level altogether that means you will have physical injuries to avoid physical injuries you have to have a teacher in front of you or the person who can teach you right so that is very important it's not that if you do a wrong yoga asan will you put on weight no it's not like that i i can i demonstrate a surya namaskar to you so you just see how it is supposed to be done and how important it is to look at your posture and the breathing technique is very very important come inhale up one join your palms now you watch okay when i'm saying technique that is very important it could be very small down exhale three get one leg forward Now when I say technique, push this knee behind because if you push this knee ahead of your toes, in time you will always have a knee problem. So when you do yoga, it is very very important to watch technique. Four. Now again, watch the hip down will give you a back ache. 
the hip has to be a little bit higher, parallel to the floor. Five, drop your knees down slowly, drop the chest, chin down. Inhale up, stretch back, shoulder back. You look very simple when she's doing it. Up seven. Eight, the other leg forward. Nine. Inhale up. And relax. So did you see that the technique is very important? Anything wrong in this is going to give you a backache. It's going to give you a sprain in the neck. So all these things have to, have to be watched. That's why we say either you look at a book, at the right postures, the way it is done, which part of the body is it affecting, those things are very important. The next question, please. Uh, Payal, thanks for your uh, discussion so far. As a believer of classical form of yoga, I personally have been uh, very apprehensive when uh, there's been a lot of modernization, right? So I pick up on a statement that you've made um, that you've uh, tried to make it very interesting for youngsters. So my question is, how have you managed to maintain the essence of the true or the classical form and yet make it interesting? That's a very nice question, you know, because I get this question thrown at me many times. You know, when particularly not offending anybody who's teaching yoga today. But when I teach yoga, I pick the essence up right from that time. And getting, because I'm a physical education teacher too, okay, so I know the anatomy of the body, which is very, very important for anyone who's teaching you anything into the fitness industry, okay? You can play around with the body only if you're aware of the body. So, I, when I teach, I do not forget that 5,000-year-old yoga. I use it in everything because we teach the traditional yoga. Now, you tell me the N number of yogas that have come into the market. It's power yoga, it's vinyasa yoga, everything, everything good, but each to suit its own because everybody cannot do what other people can do. A power yoga is a very dynamic class. It's from one posture to the other, to the other, to the third, to the fourth, okay, and it's very quick. A person who's extremely fit is advisable to do such kind of yoga, okay, but if you're not, I wouldn't even suggest that you go in for a class like that because you're definitely going to come out with injuries. So that is very important that what kind of a class you're going to choose, the teacher you're choosing, what, what exactly they're teaching you in that class. So when you enroll for any such kind of a class, it is very, very important that you know what you're going in for. So either you watch a class first or you know how you can... You get your teacher, how long, what is the experience of the teacher, what has been, has she or he had any flaws earlier? All those things are very important. And when, where you're saying the essence, okay, we've not lost it. Most of us haven't lost it. Even if we modernize it a little bit for these youngsters to get used to it, finally you'll see a class goes into a little bit of meditation, a little bit of pranayam, you know, all those things come in in a while. Because the youngsters are not ready to sit down and do it in a very simple way. They don't understand it. But after say about six months, you've got to tell them that this is how it works. This is how the body works. They've understood it after they've done it. A lot of my students have converted. They come to me with a weight loss program. And after which they tell me, you know, Pile, let's just do asanas. Let's just do pranayam. Let's just relax. That's the achievement I get when my students tell me that. Because they come to me saying, Idar bhi maas hai, idar bhi maas hai, isko bhi kam karne ka hai. Great. I said, come. But when they tell me that now we want to relax, we know the meaning of relaxation. So that's an achievement that we as teachers get. You know, so do I answer your question? Yeah. Welcome. Any more questions, please? My question was, uh, 
you know, we travel a lot. We are actually colleagues, and we travel a lot. Uh, and sometimes when we come back from the field, it's late, and then again in the morning we have to get up and you know head to the field again, uh, you know, early in the early hours. So my question was, uh, we realized that there should be a balance of like the pranayama or the breathing exercise as well as, you know, some kind of surya namaskar or swimming or some kind of uh, cardio activity, let's say. So, uh, but given at times when we we are very like you know uh, rushed for work or in case of travel. What kind of a balance would you suggest? Like, what could we prioritize if, you know, you could answer that? That would be really helpful. Thank you. You know, what we can do is, I, I know most of the people are on the run and they really don't get time to exercise or do any kind of thing. So what you could do is get a few pranayams into your system, maybe say about and 10 to 15 Surya Namaskars and say about a few Kapal Bhati and Om Chanting. That, those are things that will work like a 15 minute routine. Do you get 15 minutes? 15 minutes? 15 to 20 minutes is also good if you do it every day. Because you're on the run, you don't have the time, it's not possible for you all to, you know, take out that kind of time. 15 minutes. If you all know a Surya Namaskar, you all know, if you can just pick up that book, which will help you, you know. So, Kapal Bhati and a few pranayams like an Anulom Vilom, Brahmari, and an Om Chanting. That's all about it that you need to do. That will take you 20 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes, not more than that. And that will help you in your entire day. So if first thing in the morning, if you can get up and do it, great. You'll feel so energetic in the entire day. You'll be surprised that how have you got so much energy to move for the whole day? Those 20 minutes, that'll really work. In case you don't know, know it, I'll teach you Later. Yoga takes care, sir, of everything. You don't need to do, if you're going for a walk and you're doing yoga, it works brilliantly. It takes, you don't need to go and hit the gym. You don't need to go and do your cardio workouts. You just do a class of yoga. That is going to help you all throughout. And your age group, people, you know, the older generation, it's great, brilliant. But have you done yoga before? Well, I am doing a few exercises. Some, some asanas. This is some asanas. Very good. Breathing exercises, pranayams are very good for you. You should do it. And don't, you know, people say they should get the asana properly. I say after 13 years of teaching, I also don't know asana properly. I don't know how to master it. You cannot master an asana for years and years and years together. You know, so pe people come to class and they look at me. I said, wow, what flexibility. When will we do it? I said, hello, it's not happening. It takes time. You know, every body type is different. You know, so don't think that, but whatever, start with it. There's always a beginning. There's a beginning to exercise. If you've never done it and you take up yoga for the rest of your life, one, you'll not have the weight. Second, You'll always be fresh. You'll always look 10 years younger to your age. Always remember that. Always. At least 10 years. As you start aging, you will look 10 years younger. That's a guarantee. Because the blood flow rushes to your brain. Yoga is the only place where inverted postures walk in. Nowhere else where you invert your blood flow to the head. Only yoga does it for you. And that's the key. That inverted, when you invert your blood flow, all the blood is gushing to your head and your face will start glowing. That's very, very important. You know, people don't realize this, but as you start doing yoga, you will realize how it's, it's miraculous. You know, I, I might be talking and I think, she's just going on and on because she's written a book, she's writing the second book. No, it's completely out of experience that I'm talking. You know? I'll be very specific. My sister uh, had a brain hemorrhage, had an operation, and totally lost her memory. Now she's recovered. Thereafter, she had a fall and broke her hip bone. Now she's recovered. And she's put on excess weight, not that she was ever very thin. I'm being very specific in this case. She has diabetes, she has a heart problem. She has this, uh, some kind of a staple in her brain or whatever. Um, and the thyroid problem. 
and she can't move, I mean, she's not very flexible after that stroke that she got, fully paralyzed her left side. Now she's married somehow. With all this, do you think uh, yoga, of course, under proper supervision, would help? Because she is really bloated out, and she is not just about feeling bad. I mean, she, as it is with all these handicaps, movement is a problem too. So would yoga help? Yes, ma'am, sure, yoga will help. She has so many issues, okay? So it is going to help, but very slow traditional yoga, okay, which is going to help her. She does not need to do it fast, and that will relax her when she does pranayams. As you said, she's got a brain hemorrhage, okay? So you have to be very specific when you're teaching her also. You need to have a good teacher, okay? And it will help her. It will help her to get out of her negativity. Because she's gone negative with so many issues into her life, she's, she thinks it's somewhere down. I'm sure she may be thinking, why, why am I living, you know, what's happening? Which is very natural. So that kind of uh, uh, feeling will get out of the system. And right, where yoga does this to you, you start becoming a very positive person. Anything around you, you start dealing with it in a very positive way. So she'll start dealing. She has those issues. I don't say those issues will get cured. You know, people think, Acha, you have thyroid. Thyroid will get cured if you're in a younger age and things like that. Yes, continuously, you can get rid of thyroid. And if you have diabetes, you have diabetes forever. If anybody tells you that yoga can cure diabetes, no. Yes, you can get out. If you're, you're taking an insulin injection, you might not have to take an insulin injection, but you're diabetic for life. You know, yes, the rest of the things can be cured. You know, but at an earlier age. Little, yeah, exactly, exactly. That's what I'm trying to tell you. But yes, it will help. So if you have somebody whom you can come get home and try to make her do yoga, which will be great. It is going to work for her. And in a very, very positive way. We belong to the to-go generation. Okay, and uh, honestly, everything for us is pick, leave, pick, leave, you're there, like, you know, adding on to what you said, you hardly, say you don't get the 15 minutes. I mean, there's a lot of, uh, how do you, uh, what do you tell, I mean, I really don't know what to tell myself, you know, every day, because I've really, it's, I've gone from 75 kilos to what I am right now, but that is not because I managed it the right way. So, leave us with a comment which, I don't know, inspires me because I, nothing inspires me of late, not even my parents uh, telling me a word or anything, but it's really difficult. It's, it's, you tell yourself, okay, I'll get up in the morning tomorrow and I'll go, but an hour extra sleep is precious to us. Right, right. So you know, what, you know where we're coming from? We, we hear of Bikram yoga, we hear of all these fascinating yeah, yogas, but, and also that a large part of it is not affordable. I'm saying, um, yes, it is affordable. We, we do have salaries that let us go do that, but that's not where we went. So is there a way to watch yoga and learn? Is, is there a way to, I don't know, come up with a CD if I may request you to? I'd... I have my two books coming up. Okay. okay, my first book's being Excel to Excess, which lots of people have read. And this kind of a, um, comment of having a DVD has come up n number of times, but you know, you youngsters have to realize that you, you're right, you're all running. I know, it's very difficult because all of y'all have big goals, big ambitions, y'all wanna make it big, y'all wanna make big money, all said and done, but y'all will, not, y'all will re not realize it initially, y'all all young, y'all all in your 20s, okay? So y'all are not gonna feel that y'all are losing on something, but when y'all, past your 30s and reaching to your 40s, that's when y'all are going to realize that, God, why did we run so much? You know, there's something that went wrong somewhere. We need to slow down. Y'all realize it then. Y'all are all young, so y'all have that kind of a buzz in the head. You want to make it big. But trust me, y'all need to slow down because y'all are going to... I've heard people having heart attacks at 29, 25. Very recent person I knew who had a heart attack at 30. So where are you landing up to? I, uh, is that what you all want to do towards your life? You all have to take out, like you said, 15 minutes also is difficult. But no, you all have to remove those 15 minutes. It's not going to work. 
आई कॉन्ट टेल यू नाउ यू गुड बी स्लीपिंग पायल सो चलो अब स्लीप स्लीप में एक्सरसाइज करो ऐसे होगा क्या नहीं होगा दैट लिटल बिट ऑफ मोटिवेशन बिकॉज दैट लिटिल लैक ऑफ मोटिवेशन इज गोन टू टेक यू गोन गिव यूर हेल्थ हेजर्ड Definitely, somewhere down, you're going to break down. It's going to affect your heart. It's going to affect your mental status. You're going to have n numbers of health issues. I have children coming to me of 19 years with problems of PCODs, hypothyroid, diabetes. They have juvenile diabetes. It's it's horrible. And why? It's because they are stressed. I have children who are six years and seven years old and are stressed. I don't even know whether we knew the meaning of stress when we were six years old. So why? Why is all this happening? Because there's so much pressure. Parents are putting pressure on their children. You have to come out first. You have to do this. Keep studying. Your youngsters go through it. Mother, mother, father, all the time. Arey, what is this? Y'all are running about. Pura din ghar ke baar hain. Y'all are not working. Y'all have no sense. These children must be listening to it every day. Every day. but that's not the way you have to get out of that system it's a rat race you will get stuck you will run so it's an individual thought to yourself how much i have to do what i have to do and where do i have to be like everybody else or do or am i important to myself that is very important ask yourself sit down You know, people, children have stopped sitting down. They don't know the meaning of sitting down in peace. I tell you to close your eyes. You are like hajar. Now, I, even if I told you all to close your eyes for like split seconds, but your brain must be running. It's like lightning. That's the way your brain works. I don't think anybody must have said, "Ha, I am very peaceful." Ha, pile ko bolne ke liye bol diya peaceful lagta hai. Lekin none of you all must have said, "Ha, it's feeling good." No, because your brains are running. You can't even shut your eyes. how difficult that is i'm saying your children are very young today very very young i am not young i'm going to be 14 in 2 years i'm not young i've gone through it all you know so that's what you need to slow down thank you so much i think it's been a very intimate and a very you know inspiring session for all of us youngsters thank you and so much and i love talking to youngsters trust me i enjoy it all children coming to me and telling me their issues i love it i'm sitting there because on my phone i'm dealing with people around the world after my book and i have all this age group 20 19 15 25 that's what i deal with i'm all the time telling them what to do how they have to eat how they have to move and people i i can relate to this is because they tell me they are stressed weight makes them stressed they are depressed get them out of depression i'm all the time talking to them and i and i feel lovely doing it it's pleasure and it was a pleasure talking to you everyone thank you so much thank you very much thank you very much